A savage ice tsunami in Alaska buried alive a whole herd of musk oxen leaving it all but one wholly submerged, researchers have found. With blizzards raging at between 60 to 100 miles per hour, 128 to 160 kilometers per hour, the pack of more than 50 were buried alive, leaving only a few tufts of hair poking out. During the violent storm, these hardy creatures, whose ancestors managed to survive the last ice age, descended to the water but were quickly trapped and frozen by the rising tide. Scroll down for video. We looked down out of the plane, and all there was was white, biologist Marcy Johnson who works at the U.S. National Park Service told The Atlantic. It was just ice. There was normally a group of 50-plus black dots, she said, talking about a lagoon area at the northern coast of the Bering Land Bridge. We got a little closer and realized there were little tufts of hair sticking out or a horn sticking out. We were looking at 52 on the ground that had been trapped in the ice. During the dramatic event, the water rose rapidly and chunks of sea ice were driven up to a mile inland. Accompanied by a fusion of shattered shore ice with plates up to 50 centimeters, 1.6 feet, thick and 5 meters, 15 feet, long, the tidal surge trapped at least 52 animals, researchers wrote in their paper published in Scientific Reports. All but one was wholly submerged, they said. Known as an Ivu or Ivunik in Inupiaq, the language of indigenous northern coastal Alaskans, these wind-driven polarized override surges pile ice to 4 meters, 13 feet, high. It was in May when the ice thawed that the bodies could be seen better, Dr. Berger told Mail Online, having happened three months previously. Despite their name, these creatures are in fact more closely related to wild sheep and mountain goats than cattle. Weighing at around 800 pounds, 360 kilograms, they are the Arctic's largest land mammal and were extinct in Russia for centuries until 1975. Our results illustrate how once unusual, but increasingly frequent Arctic weather events affect some cold adapted mammals, researchers wrote. Historical records give details of sea ice trapping 150 narwhals, 170 belugas in southern Beringia, and 100 in the eastern Arctic. Researchers also believe climate change could be harming musk oxen young. Their research has shown that babies born during rain on snow events gave birth to smaller and less healthy babies. When rain on snow events occur, then basically, a muskox mother doesn't have access to her salad bowl for a long period of time because it's frozen, Joel Berger from Colorado State University told The Atlantic. When the mother is gestating, if she can't get food, then it has a long-term effect on the well-being of her growing fetus, he said. Think about an undernourished kid if you're born small, then you may be impacted for most of your life. Their research showed these events reduced the size of the musk oxen head from birth to puberty at around the age of four. In the Canadian Arctic these rain-on-snow events have become three times more common in recent years.
The U.S. government warned the Arctic showed no sign of returning to this reliably frozen region of recent past decades. Although the ice tsunami was not necessarily caused by climate change researchers believe it was an unusual event. According to studies by NASA and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration 2016 was the third year in a row to set a new record for global average surface temperatures. Warming patterns are most extreme in the polar regions, particularly in the Arctic, said Dr. Berger, writing for The Conversation. In 2002 a winter rain on snow event on Canada's Banks Island encased the ground in ice and prevented musk oxen from reaching their food supply. Some 20,000 animals died, he said. Dr. Berger notes that although we know a lot about enormous changes in the polar environments, we know less about how these changes are affecting individual populations. Researchers measured the size of these creatures using a technique called photogrammetry, which involves making measurements from photos. They take a number of photos at known distances and angles and used shots to develop algorithms and estimate their size. By comparing our estimates with data on the growth and size of captive animals, we can explore how factors like winter and summer temperatures, availability and health of vegetation, and rain on snow events affect wild musk oxen's growth and size, Dr. Berger said. Cold adapted species have figured out how to survive across thousands of generations. To dampen climatic challenges, we humans need to modify our behavior in a far shorter time frame. 